Yes, I'm very pleased they are with us. James O'Connor in his 50th Super Rugby appearance and they'll both be wearing 10 on their back. So there is a lot riding on this battle within the battle. James O'Connor, Quade Cooper, welcome to Rugby HQ. Uh, I said it, the, the best of enemies. Look at that, they're at it already. Hey, um, boys, thanks very much for joining us. It's another little dynamic that you'll be head-to-head -head tomorrow night. What would it mean to both of you to get that one up on the other? James, I'll go to you first. Yeah, look, uh, definitely looking forward to uh, versing Quaidy. Um, very much looking forward to getting one on top of him, maybe a little stiff arm early. But, uh, no, yeah, no, look. Come on, come on, mate. <laughs> it's uh, definitely a big one for us. Obviously, uh, two, two wins, uh, sorry, one, one win, uh, two losses. Thought against the Waratahs, we uh, played a great 40 minutes, but weren't as, uh, I guess, clinical in that second half. So we really want to take that first half into a full 80 minutes. Hey, Craig, I'll, I'll keep focusing on the personal battle between you two. You've taken off a little bit of weight with your boxing and how fit you got. Ja you were saying today James has actually put it on, put on about 5 k's of power. What are you expecting him to come at you with? More physical stuff than footwork? Um, oh, well, you never know. Um, he's pretty unpredictable and you know, he has worked hard in, in uh, the off-season and you can sort of tell here why he's... Why he's <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and look at bad. that, it's just this pure power. Life, mate. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, he's going to be uh, a lot stronger than, than he used to be and you know, a lot of people just remember him as a young 18-year-old kid and you know, he's put on a lot of size and power and he's added, added that to his game. And James, just on your goal kicking, mate, you, you're hitting him pretty well this year. Is that something you did a fair bit of work on last year? Yeah, you, know, you, you had your hamstring injury? Yeah, uh, yeah look, uh, Obviously, I couldn't run at 100%, but I had a lot of time sort of to do those sort of 80% things. Um, I spent probably yeah, a good four to six months sort of doing a bit of, I guess, prehab, but also, I guess, getting uh, some weights in and doing a lot of work on my kicking. I thought uh, that was a part of my game that needed a bit of work. Um, obviously, there's a few other parts as well, but I put a, a big emphasis on that. Well, we were just talking about the fade-outs that, that Melbourne have had in the last couple of weeks. What do you, what do you put that down to? Is that, is that your, your half-time chat with the boys, mate, or is it more than that? Uh, yeah, look, it could come down to that. I don't know. You want to give me a few tips there? <laughs> oh, I, think, either. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, look, to be honest, uh, I think it's mindset. Um, the first 40 minutes we really play our sort of style of rugby. We play to our structures and uh, we just play like we're having fun out there and you can see that. Uh, the last sort of 40 minutes, I can't really remember too much against the Brumbies. I copped uh, one of Rathbone's big quads in my head. But um, against the Waratahs, yeah, look, we just, we just lost a bit of our enthusiasm there. And we got, um, once we sort of lost a bit on the scoreboard, got our lorry sent off, uh, we just lost a bit of our cohesion, you know? Hey, uh, Quaid, I see Digby scored his first try forever, like I think 600 days at uh, Suncorp the other night. Why no dance? Has he gotten a bit serious? I know his stats are high, but he finally got a try and he missed the chance. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think he, if he can get one this week, he'll, he might have something up his sleeve. But you know, like that entertainment factor is, is something that you know, we're looking to bring back into our game. And um, you know, those post-try celebrations and, and things like that, you know, they, all, they all add into the, um, you know, the atmosphere and things like that. So. Hopefully Digby can cross the line a few more times and you know, there's been a, a lot of emphasis around you know, him not scoring too many tries at Suncorp but you know, he's been doing the hard yards and, and the stats that matter um, you know, aren't necessarily the tries that he's scoring. And will you be defending up front or uh, hanging at fullback and putting John O'Lance in at 10? Mate, we can't be giving away those secrets now, Mate, you know. He he's playing handsies with 10. James. <laughs> I'll be running straight out as the left shoulder. <laughs> Why my left shoulder? That's hey, a uh, little one. <laughs> Do you, no, you guys, right? Go ahead. Yeah, we'll just wait this one. So, yeah, I'll get back to you. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, James, no, Curtly, he's joining us in commentary on Fox Sports um, tomorrow is he? night. He is. Yeah. We're very yeah, pleased to have him here. He'll be good. He'll be good. He'll on the that. sideline. Oh, he'll be bagging those two all night. Yeah, yeah guaranteed. <laughs> um, ten is where you would prefer to play, isn't it? I mean, I know you always say, oh, I'm happy to play wherever I'm chosen, but given, given your choice, would you prefer to wear ten on your back? Yeah, look, I guess I haven't made it a secret that I want to be in uh, the director's seat. Um, in saying that, though, look, I do enjoy sort of running a short ball and in that sort of second ball playing role. Uh, I think it's working pretty well with Kirtley this year. I'm sort of taking control of that right side of the field, him the left side. So we're getting, I guess, best of both worlds in ball playing, but also carrying and uh, running support lines. So given that, um, you know, you two are prime candidates to wear... 10 for the Wallabies. That uh, adds another little dynamic here. You could be playing each other out of a, a Wallaby berth. I uh, just want to 
you know, play with, the, I guess, the best team when it comes to Wallabies sort of selections. You want to be playing with the best guys. So for me personally, I've got a bit to do. I've got to earn my way back into the team. Obviously, I didn't play much last year, and I know Quade's got a, a few battles he wants to sort out. Yeah, and that's the, the best thing about it is, is pushing yourself against the best players. And you know, obviously, James is you know, one of the best players in, in Australia. And um, you know, to, to go head to head and have that opportunity to play against you know, one of my best mates and, and one of the best players um, you know, in, in the world as well, you know, it's a great opportunity for, for both of us. And of course, um, <laughs> and Curtly being well, the yeah, incumbent too, yeah, I mean, now. he'll be sitting watching. Uh, with bated breath to see what happens between you two as well. Well, he's been at home practicing. Um, you know, <laughs> while we've been playing a bit of Madden and FIFA, he's been you know, practicing, commentating on you know, on all my tries. And you know, when I'm be beating him and Buddy um, at home there, so I think think he'll have a, a few tricks up his sleeve. Uh, Curtly will. Might be a few Fox commentators very nervous, Marta. Ah, oh, we'll see, we'll see. Watch your jobs. Yeah. Uh, Quake, can <laughs> I just check, is that soon. registered team gear you've got on? It looks like something you got off the cleaner on the way in. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was at, at James's house James, and, and um, geez, you got anything just take red it off thing. What's that, sorry? Yeah, uh, you just said, oh, jeez, you got anything red? I've got to go on telly. <laughs> yeah, well, got his, his favourite top on, you know, he really loves red. <laughs> Hey, um, yes, OK, we, yeah, well, <laughs> maybe that might play out during the rest of the year. Who knows? Uh, guys, thanks very much for that. Very much appreciated. And uh, looking forward to seeing you two not hold hands tomorrow night at Amy Park and, uh, and really go for it. It uh, should be fantastic. <laughs> no, definitely. Uh, I can't wait. It's going to be a big game. And I think uh, we're both definitely up for it. But um, come game time, yeah, he won't be laughing. <laughs> yeah, all right. See you, boys. Thanks for that. <laughs> That's right. Thanks. <laughs>